Hello. So here's an example of a Zettelkasten. Okay, so a slip note. This was two sheets of two pages on those movies, Daily Life in the Middle Ages. So I printed two pages on one sheet of paper. And then I stuck it in an envelope and didn't read it. Hmm. So... I was trying to cut it down to fit into my slip box, my Zettelkasten, my anti nut Zettelkasten. And then I said, well, I'll make a video on this and I will show you because even after I glanced at it, I decided that I only want this little bit and this little bit. Oh, and there's a little bit over there. But I was like, I still didn't read it all. And if it's this small that I need a magnifier to read it, am I really going to pull it out of my box and use it when I'm live on camera? No. All right. So. Yes, it would fit in the box, but it would not be useful. All right, so this is a bib note. This is all I have on it. So this is what I would call it. I do not have the author. So here is the web address. And then here is the key point of all of the two pages. Okay, life in the Middle Ages was based on feudalism. The exchange of land for military service. The Duke of Normandy, William the Conqueror, used feudalism to reward his Norman supporters with English lands. That is what this says. And it doesn't quite say this, but I'm going to stick it in there also because it mentions the king giving land to the lords in exchange, well, the feudalism. So in exchange for military assistance, the lords also do that to the knights. They give them lands in exchange for assistance. And the knights give land to the peasants to farm and the peasants also give the knights service. Usually three days of service on at the castle or the knight's land. Okay, and also the king gives land to the clergy. I have not the reference for that, what the clergy do to it, but I'm sure that they well, depends on what time of <laughs> what's going on if they have their own knights, but they definitely have their own peasants and serfs because they don't all farm. So I use one of these pens just because it's convenient. I can change colors. This all should not be in red. The red is, should be only for the bib, the biography note. See, I didn't even do it there completely. And blue or black for the message. And I do green if it's a test question. And that is not meant to be a cross out. And Duke of Normandy, William the Conqueror. So, so if this, for instance, if I knew that this was going to be a test question, all right, that means it would probably appear on a quiz. Okay, if it was a test question, it would get two, 
a mid unit assessment would get two stars if it was an end of unit or you know you can maybe even four stars if it was on a comprehensive exam so green stars means that it's a test question if I circle it this is my code personally if it's two stars and it gets circled that means it has to be memorized Okay, that means no open book, no open notes. Okay, so, and these will get torn out. I'm gonna save these anyhow. Why, I don't know. Why am I doing it? Just for more filler, I guess. But I got the gist of it. That is the most important point right there. So, and that is middle school. If you don't know that after studying it in the middle school, you missed it. So, there it is. Sixth through eighth grade. Need to know that one. Bye for now.